Hello, and welcome to, uh, I remember the name of this at some point. This is... We'll get there eventually. Don't yeah, um, Movie Club Commentaries, I remembered it. There it is. Um, we, this is where me and Chris, I'm Austin, he's Chris. I'm Chris, yep. And we're, we're gonna watch a movie, and you can feel like you're watching it with us. This is like Rift Tracks and all those other things. Yeah, those uh, things. Mystery Science 3000. Achievement Hunters Theater Mode, and probably 50 other people who've come up with this before us. Yeah, you know. Yeah. We're very original with our content, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. so. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah, but this is it. We're going to watch um, Halloween Town. We're going to be watching it on Disney+. Plus. I don't know if it matters, but just in case, if you have Disney+, Plus, then I guess it'll make sure it links up perfectly. Yeah. Alright, we're going to start it in 5, 4, 3, 2, two 1. one. Oh, here we go. Oh, it's spooky music. I can't watch this. This is too scary. Oh, it's true. Is this going to be a fall under our PG channel rules? Is that a pumpkin? It is a pumpkin. Oh, I'm trying to so jack the lantern. It's too scary. Or is that a small jack lantern? I don't like it. I think it's a small jack lantern. It's too scary. Oh, this is. Oh, we forgot to mention that this is part of our special spooky month. Yeah, theme. welcome to the spooky season, guys. It's crazy. I mean, even I think if it's released on Thursday. It's still not going to be October yet. Yeah, that's true. But it's right on the verge. <laughs> yeah, we're releasing it probably earlier than we need to. We had initially thought of planning... I planned these out when this was going to be coming out in early October. But then we changed the release date. <gasps> yeah. Oh, it's ghosts. Philip Van Dyke. He's my favorite. He's the son of Dick Van Dyke, yeah? Maybe. I don't know. Um, I mean, I can't imagine that the... Last name Van Dyke is super common. Uh, let me go to let me go to Philip Van Dyke's trivia page. <laughs> Only ever known for making um, the first Halloween. Well, time. he is the brother of Sandy Van Dyke and cousin of Crystal Ben, and it doesn't mention anything about Dick Van Dyke, so I think he is unrelated to the man. Mm, must be unrelated. Um, this. I guess a little preface here. This is the first movie on our list of two, three movies we've watched where. I love this movie. This is one of my favorite movies, so we'll see if that changes the dynamic at all. Man, we'll find out. <laughs> oh, someone's coming. A nerd! <laughs> he is a nerd. That is his whole character. Yeah, that is. Good old 1999. Mm. Oh, he just said a number. Because he's a nerd. She's 13. She's practically a grown up. <laughs> is there an age for that? Is there an age for that? <laughs> you make your own choices. No, there's not. It's because you're a witch. Spoiler. Spoiler yeah. alert. She's a witch. But yeah. she doesn't know she's a witch yet. What if people hadn't watched this movie from 1999 yet? <laughs> well, I mean, that's <laughs> fair, but they're watching it with our commentary first. I feel like it's a weird choice for a movie if they're actually interested in it. Yeah, that's valid. Drawing. She's a drawing ghost in a It's just an act, like, just, just a miss, like, the... Where are you from, drawing? Probably wherever this movie was filmed. Canada. I don't think fil <laughs> Maybe. Surely. Mm. It's fair. Yeah. She's staring out of the window sill. <laughs> oh. Mm. <laughs> oh, burn him. He's a nerd. This is character. Oh, a freaking nerd. Oh, it's because you're a witch. Spoiler. Yeah. Spoiler. Oh. She doesn't trust her own kids. Poor Marnie. Yeah, her oh. name's Marnie. Mm. That was a choice they did. Hey, people are named Marnie. Are they? Yeah. I feel like I've only ever heard of Ma her being named Marnie. Nah. Alright. Alright. Uh. Oh, 
was coming. I said wallflower. That's also a thing that exists. Wall ornaments are also a thing, to be fair. Are they? Yeah, I've heard of the term wall ornaments. It's just be like a decoration. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, there's no magic in their world. None at all. They're gonna find that out in this movie. There's no such thing as magic. What? Hmm. <gasps> well, Joe's being sarcastic. Oh. Uh -huh. Trees. Yeah, trees are important trees. too. That's, that's facts. Uh, I love how comically over nerdy, nerdy, nerdy he is. He is. Just yeah. gotta really hammer it in. He had to pick Arbor Day. Not oh, I like the way that bus stop dropped in. Oh, oh I got a good PNG of a bus. <laughs> well, it's a decom, but oof. <laughs> Yeah, that's fair. Hey, this is not a TV budget in 98. <laughs> it's true. They are working with very limited supplies. No. Her bag's alive. She's a little shy. It's like a dog with a bag. Mm. A dag, if you will. Sure. It's a dog bag. Oh, bog. Let's see, that's a thing that actually exists. Mm. <laughs> Look, that's so magical. Well, yeah. Real bags don't do that. But her bag does because she's a witch. Bags with wheels on the bottom can do that. I wonder who bit. this this random lady is. I wonder if she's central to the plot. Grandma? They wouldn't know that it's her grandma yet. Well, they didn't know they were witches either, and you spoiled that too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she can't even have a Yeah, you activate Halloween. your magical powers. <laughs> you blow the town up. Oh, she wants that. Have rump. <laughs> I want that. She really wants that. Uh, she really. Is, I bet she's gonna get that cookie because she. Oh, she's also a witch. Oh my gosh! Spoilers. <laughs> Look at that PNG of the cookie. That actually might be a real cookie. Yeah. I think that's a real picture of that cookie that they're. <laughs> it was a real picture of that cookie. I don't know actually because right? it moved there. There was a texture difference there. It's because it went off frame. The magic of editing, Austin. I know it's wild. <gasps> ah, real magic. <laughs> oh. Look at how happy all of them are. Look at that. They were their their acting direction was smile, and they're like, uh, I'm trying. Uh, is this a natural smile? Ah, <laughs> presents. Get it because it goes around. Mm. She actually doesn't know where it went to. Yeah. Well, because I'm a witch. Mm. Well, it's because she can only come back on Halloween because that's the only day the Halloween Town portal, portal is open. Yeah. I should get a Halloween Town tattoo. You shouldn't. It should be my second tattoo. It would be a very poor life decision. I, mean, I love this movie though, so I mean, why not? I love this movie that much. Honestly, it's one of my, like, favorite movies from my childhood. Does too. Does not. Look at this fight. Look at that sibling fighting. Look how that can't... What? <sighs> They're not going to mention anything about the skeleton that was just hanging out in there. Oh, no. Of course not. What? <laughs> That was a choice for lies. It was. No, it's just grandma. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Mmm, garlic. My people. <laughs> Get it because he's a nerd? <laughs> <laughs> No, it's oh, it's unlucky. irony, because in our world, 13's unlucky. But in the uh, witch world of Halloween Town, it's lucky. Whoa. Th that's from another movie. 
Is it? It's like one. It's the Wolfman. Oh. Lon Chaney was the actor in it. It's like you don't even know your movie history, Chris. No, I haven't watched Wolfman. The like classic. Yeah. Oh well. I mean, it's not. I, I didn't love it, but it, that's because it's an old movie. Yeah. <laughs> it's almost like because movies are old, doesn't mean you should watch them. But I'm not. I'm not getting involved in this. I'll say. Hmm. Ah, not all so movies smart. are good. The movies. They're just old. The movies considered class. People love it. What's it called? Wolfman. The Wolfman? It's like one of the old Universal monster movies, like Frankenstein and all those. The Wolfman. No, not Wolfman Man. The only thing that's showing up is the movie's not, Is it not called The Wolfman? Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong in the name of it. Oh, 1941. Yeah. So they did a remake. That's probably one to watch. I guess not. Maybe it's not called Wolfman. Maybe I should look up Lon Chaney instead. There's Wolfman 2010. 1941. Lon Chaney. He was in. Where's Lon Chaney Jr.? But he's also Lon Chaney. I found Lon Chaney. I just gotta find which. What was the name of the Wolfman movie he was in? Yeah, why is she a monkey? <laughs> oh, maybe I'm a ghost. <laughs> I'm having a lot of trouble finding it. Was it Lon Chaney Jr. who was in it? Not Lon Chaney. Because he was also... Lon Chaney Jr. was in The Wolfman. That's what I just said. Well, I wasn't... I was deep in the looking of myself, so I wasn't paying attention. You're about Benicio del Toro's in the new Wolfman, which has a 5.8 on IMDb. Wonder what the original one has. Oh, look at your story. It's got a 7.3 on IMDb. See, it's a classic. I think they're very, very biased. It's also probably just older reviews, too. That's how a lot of those reviews, it's like an aggregate. Mm. So, in 1930 or 40 when that came out, that was a big deal. You know? I mean, sure. Oh, we're missing them talking about being normal. Mm. Normal. The cat from Garfield. Normal. <laughs> You're not normal. Oh. Oh, so mean to poor grandma. Oh. What? Oh, your phone's breaking. That's what happens when you're doing intense research. <laughs> Time to get a new phone case. Oh. <laughs> What were those facial expressions from Grandma? Uh, uh, uh. She's gonna tell him a thing. She lied. Oh, he's so insufferable. Where are you living that setting your thermostat to 68 degrees is conserving energy? <laughs> I guess maybe it's somewhere really cold? Yeah. yeah. Somewhere in the north. Let me see where this is set. Cleveland. Oh, they're in Ohio. Okay, I mean, that's if it's Ohio in the late fall, that yeah. actually plays... He's guess, probably right. Yeah, it's probably yeah, no, cold. Respect. <laughs> Alright. He's well. a little insufferable nerd, but that, uh, that was accurate. Yeah. She said, Tippix is banshees. Those are things, I guess. Oh. Mm. Oh, 
little girl don't like witches. Grandma's gonna kill her now. Prove to them witches are cool. <laughs> Ten ratings. What does? The Wolfman. Oh, we're still on Wolfman. I've, I've moved on back to the movie we're supposed to be talking about. No. Oh. <laughs> it also has 157 ones. <laughs> well, well if there's 107 ones. There needs to be a lot of tens to offset that, though. So. Yeah, 2,900. There's a lot of people who like that movie. And it's a classic. Seven thousand sevens. <laughs> See, Chris, it's a classic. You don't have to like it. You don't have to watch it either. But I people love it. it, so I guess I'm not allowed to have an yeah. opinion. I think I've seen it, and I don't remember enjoying it because I don't really like any of the Universal Monster movies personally. Mm. I find most of them pretty boring. Yeah. If I want to watch movies with monsters in it, I go to my Disney Channel. And I watch. Eat Halloween snack, Night. man. Gross. Oh. Is that actually Martin? Does that random picture of a white girl kind of look like Marnie? Yeah, I guess. Yeah, all white women look the same. But she's like, it's not like <laughs> so that reaction. It is me. She does have straight bangs, which. Oh! Oh! Wow. Is it down packed? Not down packed? No, it's down packed. Is it? Okay. It's so sad. There's nothing special. Oh, poor Marnie. Oh, she got cut up by the mom. Year. She can only leave on Halloween, guys. Mm -hmm. In a year. Yeah. Once a year she shows up on Halloween, but they've never figured out that she only shows up on Halloween. Yeah. It's been so long! Exactly one year. For the past 13 years, you only show up on Halloween. Yeah. <laughs> but they're dumb, he's a much dumb kid, they can't figure out the correlation. Oh, look at that acting. She's so sad. Are you still reading about the Wolfman? Yep. Move on to the Wolfman. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> this is not good Halloween Town commentary content when you're just okay. obsessing over the Wolfman. <laughs> the Wolfman overrated, in my opinion. You haven't seen it! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I sure haven't. But this kid from 1998 has... Yeah, maybe. I mean, I've, I've seen it. I was born in 97. I was born in... I was... Even later, and I still have seen it. Strange. Mm. Oh. Oh, I'm mad. I'm going to purse my lips. Oh, For training. Oh. Oh, the stakes. Did you do a regular chicken? She did.
I want to like I want to go to the same face acting class that everyone went to in this movie because there was some sort of teaching these people how to do this what these specific styles of horrible face acting. Yeah. I don't feel like these these aren't natural things that people know how to do. They had to be taught this. There's no way. There's such anticipation with every line that somebody else is saying. Yeah. Because these are serious actors, Chris. It's a very serious children's yeah. movie about witches. Yeah. It's high art, and it's the greatest movie ever. Hmm. Hmm. But I, oh. but I, could, I could be a, a witch. Oh, I have powers. <gasps> oh. Mm. It's a real big political statement from 1998. Yeah. What is this? Sweden? <laughs> or is everyone neutral? Mm-hmm. That's right. Oh, nothing. Oh, she's a tech. There's so much melodrama in this. Yeah. Ah, yeah, let me shake. Oh, it's so serious. It's fine. This whole movie plays out oh, like... I should turn them on back in the chickens! Like a, a high school play. Yeah, I can see filmed. that. I can see that, yeah. <laughs> what? Quippy burns back and forth. Our bag's moving. Ah, yeah. uh, yes. A radio control of moving bag, as we all have seen in He's gonna say no. Are you sure? <laughs> Told you. No. No. No, I've never wanted to. Oh, also, why is she putting her crappy witch costume on to leave? I feel like that's probably insulting to the culture. It's like cultural appropriation. Maybe. Ah, <gasps> uh, get it, because she knows what real magic's like. Yeah. Thanks for Buster. Mm. But for real, though, like, who on the, like, costume department said, we should give her this really bad, ugly shawl kind of thing that just yeah. doesn't make any sense? No, which is worse shawls. But that doesn't look like... At least the one Grandma's wearing looks like it was well, it's well made. So it's spooky. Yeah. The pasta. Hmm. Oh. Oh, cause she's a witch. Did that so Raven? <gasps> Not a great sibling rivalry. That's how you. you uh, mm-hmm. See, I never got to live with my my sister. This is how you and your sisters acted all the time, right? No. What? Mm. You guys didn't just get in big fights all the time? No. Mm. You call your sister crazy. She calls you a downer. <laughs> I mean, if anyone was to call me a downer, I'd just be accurate. Yeah. <laughs> fair. That's right. Oh. <laughs> Woo! It's from 1998, Chris. Oh, those are some, some effects.
dated references as well in this movie. Uh, yeah. yeah. Also, why is a demon from the underworld from New York? Well, because, you know, have you, where else would the underworld be? And I tell myself, well, it, it, it's not like the old days. It was yeah. Jerry oh, Springer. Yeah, Jerry Springer. Oh, look, it's the Halloween town. Ah, yes. That guy just got human hands. I didn't try him with him. Nope. Some guys get costume pants. Some guys are like, you just get a mask? Yeah. Where is here? It's like a her. man in a marching band costume is well, yeah. reading people off of the well, bus. Oh, yeah. Because it's spooky. Is, is it? Mm. Uh, headless to the home was the guy headless. Ah, <laughs> this movie's great. Bad. So mm -hmm. some of this movie is bad, and I get that, but it's it's charmingly bad for me. The nostalgia. Oh, the pumpkin looks so stingy. Oh, yeah, it too. Ominous, dingy pumpkin. Mm -hmm. Ominous, dingy pumpkin. Oh, pirate skeleton guy. Uh, yeah. Hmm. These guys clearly aren't just in costume. Halloween Town, established a long time ago. <laughs> That's what it says. Yeah. Oh, the pumpkin people get normal bodies. Yeah. Painting people orange is a lot of money, Austin. But painting some, their hands orange. Some people get full suits, though. Like, it's like the, it's the inconsistency. If you didn't, if you were just saying, hey, forget it, we don't care. No one's gonna have hands. Oh, look, our little sister. Tagged along somehow. <laughs> mm. uh. Yep. Mm. Is it's different? Oh my god, it's so different. It, it's the bad thing. Oh. <laughs> Magic. Ah, uh, surely he's a nice guy. Yeah, he he's the mayor, and he's giving candy to little children. Yeah. Okay, I question that a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> Fair. Grown man giving candy to kids is never a bad sign. Yeah. Well, he is the mayor. He is supposed to be good. Mm -hmm. Obviously, mayors are always good. Yeah. Never corrupt. Never. Never. Politicians are great. He does look a little bit like Willy Wonka. Two hundred. That's Gosh, not real normal. Oh, here comes Benny. Ah, uh, he's the best character. I mean, Benny is pretty cool. I like Benny. He's the best character in the movie. He's charismatic skeleton man. <laughs> yeah. See, he's not supposed to be funny. Mm. That's the joke. He's a Bye, jerk. Sophie. I can't even learn her name. Gosh. Calabar. I don't know if I actually said his name yet. But he's the mayor. That's his name. Hey, with a name like that, you gotta be evil. Uh, you know, if you, if you know anything about the franchise and you start with this one, you would know he's evil. Yeah. You know what the sequel's called? Revenge of Calabar. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah. So spoiler alert, he's bad and comes Aww. back. <laughs> oh jeez. Mm. Oh. Oh. Oh, the Luke kid. Luke. He looks so normal. Shadow creature. Ah. Shadow creatures commonly known for giving those jobs to children. Yeah. Yeah. Second cap, we know where you want to go. I like how much he moved his eyebrows just because that's the one thing they gave the puppet. So they're just like, yeah. ah, he's moving his eyebrows a lot. This is how people talk, right? Yeah. For for the only listeners, because this is audio only, we're moving our eyebrows like crazy. Yeah, we're wiggling our eyebrows at each other. <laughs> oh. He's such a, like, bummer. And, like, to the point where it's like, I get it in the beginning, but at this point, like, you have to understand that it, he's still like, oh, what powers? You see the world you're in now. Yeah. Everyone's wearing costumes. It's crazy. <laughs> there was a literal talking skeleton who just drove you here. But you're like, you being a witch, nice try. Yeah, right, sister. It's got a point. Yeah. Ah, Sophie's really magic. Yeah. She has so much magic without any training whatsoever. She's gonna be... And so it did. Mm. Yeah. Because she's got a ton of power. Kind of makes you question why, you know, Marnie's the focus of the whole series. With, yeah. You know, her sister is obviously a supreme being. <laughs> <laughs> Just raw magical energy. Yeah. Wow. The real magic is microwaves. But bubble bubble toil on trouble on the microwave. It's funny. Uh <gasps> somebody's got that's, that's, that's the same thing Sophie said. No. Oh, That was your over-expressive face. I could hear your eyebrows moving. Uh-huh. Oh, huh? No. Uh-huh. Where'd she come? Mm. Bad thing. Or Sophie, because she's Sophie. got the actual yeah. potential. Yeah, Sophie would be a way better witch. Oh. What? <laughs> just, just accept it, Chris. Time just doesn't pass. Yeah, time does its own thing. Which really makes you think, like... So, she's been here for, she's 200 years old in Halloween Town, so she's only like 20 years old <laughs> in the real mortal world. Yeah. Or in her late 50s. Yeah. Oh! Ah. Uh, oh, spooky man. Oh, uh, he's got a uh, big face. Oh, who could that be? I wonder who it is. We will we'll never know who that could possibly ha, be. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> ha, 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 ha. I don't know, somebody should tell uh, Gorgonzola funny. What's his name? <laughs> Gorgonzola? The mayor, you know. Calamar? That was close. Those aren't, no. Calamari. Total if Calamari. you would have called him Calamari, that would have been close. Sure. You called him Gorgonzola. <laughs> you know. C's and G's. They're interchangeable, really, when you think about it. Also, I just want to point out, 
Come on. A little tiny feature there on that microwave. Ta- you know, the ha ha funny boil boil toil trouble, you know. And also the express one. No, no. Oh. Beef raw button. So like to cook beef. There was like it was a normal microwave that they just put stickers on for that part. Because they was talking about how to cook beef under that as like one of the but- preset oh. buttons. Ooh. Nah, this is just like a a decorative rod. Oh. <laughs> that wasn't too far off. I love that reaction. Oh. I'm not gonna summon the devil? No devils today? Okay. Sure. Her mom's a real witch, if you know what I mean. Uh, oh, Bob. Got Bob. Him. I wish I would have thought that before I called her a jerk. It would have been funnier if I didn't call her one thing and then think of the joke. Mm. <laughs> oh, she sprinkled glitter on it. <laughs> no, that's magic powder, Chris. That's some cool glitter. Magic glitter. Glitter. Magic <laughs> glitter. Okay. Don't lean back. You're going to be too far away from the mic. Nah. Mm. Got him. Oh! Oh! Ah, cereal. <laughs> oh, would you look at this? It's just pouring milk. Milk and frosted flakes. It's... <laughs> Certainly not the people at the grocery store. I'm delivering my lines, moving my eyebrows the whole time. Yeah, that's the... Oh, more eyebrows. <laughs> Alright, I'll help, I guess. If you're washing along and you need an excuse to drink, you could drink every time somebody <laughs> We don't want to do eyebrows. that. We don't want... We can't... No, I in no good conscience tell you to do that. You will die. Yeah, you would die. In the first <laughs> ten minutes. <laughs> Every time somebody raises their eyebrows while they're delivering lines, or while somebody else is delivering their lines. Why are we trying to kill someone with alcohol poisoning in the first five minutes? Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> so don't play that drinking game. Yeah, don't do that. Drink if, responsibly. If, you, if you're into drinking responsibly, just have a couple drinks. Just maybe you'll enjoy the movie more. Yeah. I'm enjoying without it. Oh, they kind of <laughs> painted his hands. Yeah. He's got a big swollen head. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> oh, he's got normal human hands, though. Yeah. Mm. <sighs> I like the way she said something in her mouth didn't move. To be fair, they probably hoped that the costume would move, but then it didn't, and they like, just go with it. <laughs> That said, I like Halloween parties. Parties, yeah. No, it did. We were watching this with subtitles. Yeah, because it helps, because in case it's a little too quiet at times, we can at least read what we missed. Yeah. But I guess if you read it, you're going to not know what happened. <laughs> I think it's about that time. We're at the, we're at the expo- exposition point. Let's have a look at the trivia. Yeah. St. Helens, Oregon is where the original Halloween Town was filmed. Mm. Mm. In fact, they have a month-long Spirit of Halloween Town event to celebrate the October holiday and allows fans of the movie to explore the town. Wow. If we ever do uh, something on location at some point years from now, we're going to go to St. Helens, Helens, Oregon for, you know, the Spirit of Halloween Town event. Oh. Oh, that was her friend from Ireland. No. Oh, what's happened to her? The mayor. We Kill should him. ask him what's going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what she meant. We, the mayor is a cool dude. 
Oh. He really likes their mom and Soapy. Nah, so so calamari. It's on fire. Oh my goodness. I don't I guess I'll save that for when it happens. That's a pretty crazy... It hasn't happened yet, so I won't mention it, but there's some crazy facts about something they do in the movie later. Oh? Yeah. Apparently, he was supposed to just be the ice cream shop Yeti initially, but apparently the costume that fit didn't fit him, so they had to swap him with the other guy. What? So apparently there was like a, and I think it was in that scene, there was an ice cream shop, like Yeti, and the, you know, main villain of this movie was supposed to just be that side character, but the suit didn't fit him. So they swapped the characters, and he got to be this character instead. Oh. Elvis. No, that's him. I don't think there was any chrome on that, to be fair. It looks like it was made of plastic. Yep. Ooh. Look at all the chrome, it's so shiny! Mm, look at all that yellow plastic. Oh, more eye move, more facial reactions, that's all mm. this movie is. Oh, look how cool he is. Oh. <laughs> Chris was making fun of the face he was doing, guys. Yeah. Uh, you can't see it, this is not a video production, but Chris is doing a lot of facial reactions <laughs> to this movie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the, <laughs> the way his mouth is always constantly oh, pushed to one side. What? That was such a. She could have just called him Stinky, and that was lame enough, but he could have stuck with that, but then she had to call him the Big Cheese, like that made it better. Gosh darn it! Me and. Me and Calabar. I mean, uh, no one. We're. Uh, he like. People like me. Got him. <laughs> mm. Oh, she's so excited. Oh my gosh. Oh, that was so bad. Fly it out. They probably shouldn't have done that because now we get to see their horrible flying. Oh, look at them go. <laughs> so bad. So totally cool. Totally radical. Oh. Oh. The Seems delivery like... of that line was... Also, I feel like that's really, you know, kind of a slippery slope in the, you know, consent department of their world. <laughs> you just have to want something and then you have it! It's like, oh, jeez! Hopefully that only works for witches and not warlocks, or that could be real dangerous. Uh -oh. Ooh. <laughs> That's just 
not true. I think Mom is the best actor here so far. Actress. Yeah. I don't know, I do think, uh, you know, guy who helped him off the bus was pretty good. <laughs> he did really play his part very yeah. well. <gasps> Got him. Howdy, bottom lip. That's so. I want to be a witch, though, Mom. Oh. Why did? I'll be honest. What's his name? Looks so sad. Do you know who the next best actor in this movie? Sophie, which is weird, cause she's a little kid actress, yeah. but she honestly delivers her lines better than half the cast. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, I do think that if I remember right, they get better as they go on, cause it's most of the same cast throughout mm. the first and, three and movies. They learn how to act yeah. eventually. That's that. She didn't move her eyebrows in that scene at all. That was weird. The mom actually can act. Yeah. She can fade emotion with her face without just going. <gasps> <gasps> We're moving our eyebrows a lot again. Yeah. Sorry. Once again, this, honestly, this is a movie that apparently needed to be a video <laughs> podcast. I guess so. to join a motorcycle game. Oh! Oh! Everyone in this family is a bunch of witches! I'm not cursing, but I want you to know I'm thinking the curses. Mm. <laughs> yeah, Mary sucks. <laughs> yeah, gosh. Mary's evil. Mm. I mean, geez, his name is Calabar. Yeah, that's right. It sounds like a Harry Potter character, and Harry Potter doesn't exist yet, I don't think. I think the first book was written in 97. Mm. So it outdates this by like a year. Barely. Yeah. Harry Potter, June of 97. And this wow. came out probably probably October 98. Wow. Is that what you're going to see, boss? <laughs> 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 you know how everyone whistles when they go, wow. Well, when you see a foxy lady, you have to do that. You're such a loser, Calabar. How did you become mayor? Mm. Oh. <gasps> oh, I was going to say, ah, oh, dead rose. Magic. Thinking he might be our dad. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's not. He's not. He's not. Their dad is a dead human. Yeah. Ooh, haunts. Oh. Get it? I know it's also a term, but they definitely put that in the script because it's also spooky, spooky. word. Right. No, of course. The 
boy. Because she's a pin cushion. Yeah. Which is. She's a living pin person. You know the obvious thing we also say with Halloween: living pin cushions. Yeah. She said pins and needles like three times as a joke. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Mm. I feel like he's he's evil, guys. I just yeah. have that feeling Calabar, who ha- he has the same name as the villain from the second one, so he must be. <laughs> no, it's like his son or something. <laughs> mm. Mm, the angst. She is 13, which is practically an adult. She is 13, and that is the age of angst. working on. You mean the instant mix that she poured out of a box? <laughs> we also lot. talked about finding it, remember? Uh, I mean, I guess. <gasps> it's like such like a like middle school insult that it seems like she's she's falling for. Mm. <laughs> what, you chicken? And she's like, no, I'm a Cromwell witch! <laughs> no, you are! <laughs> Why doesn't she think Sophie belongs here? <laughs> Why does she think so? there's no way Sophie has magic, but she does? Because she's 13. <laughs> <laughs> No. Hmm. Sort of. Hmm. Barely. This is a prequel to the Vich, right? Hmm. The Vich. Oh. So, see, she just now acknowledges that she sees Sophie has powers, yet she thinks Sophie doesn't belong here. Oh, that's from the first... That's a callback to the first sign in the movie. One of the first scenes of the movie. <laughs> it's not inaccurate. <laughs> there goes the wiener, dude. <sighs> the delivery of that line was a little bit questionable, I'll admit. She's still the best, but it doesn't mean she's good. <laughs> yeah. The best out of a bunch I'll of be honest, very nice. As I'm rewatching this, and I think I remember thinking this way last time. I'm a real big fan of the third one. But it's also the most weird and zany and off the wall. Mm. Well it is Halloween town. Yeah. How do you make a sequel except making it more zany and off yeah. the wall? So like and here's the thing, I think this honestly might have a better story than the third one. But the third one is my favorite, and mm. this one I can definitely see all the flaws that are glaringly there. But what flaws? You know, that's true. Yeah, Everything's no... great. Nothing corny about this at all. There's not. <clears throat> I'm sure, it's a decom. And they're all inherently corny. They're all inherently the best movies ever. Don't, don't make the internet mad at us, Chris. We love all decoms, and they're all created equally. I mean, I enjoy them. Next week, we're watching Windy Woo, Homecoming Warrior. Oh, no. Nah, just kidding. Next week, we're watching Halloween oh. Time 2. <laughs> uh, I'm evil! His cloak effect is kind of cool. You know, I just realized, due to when we start releasing these, we're going to have to find a fifth Halloween movie to watch. Oh, good. Because 
Our next up, our last one will come out on the 27th, which it'd be weird to not do a Halloween one three days before Halloween. Mm. Eh, we'll figure it out. Yeah. We'll do, we might do one extra Halloween, Halloween movie. We'll watch Twitches. Yikes. Nah, probably not. We'll find something. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I have a line in this scene. <laughs> okay, we get it. He's in the scene. Yep. Stuck on Caliber. I mean, the creepy guy. Shut up! Okay. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's where the, that's where it's going. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> also, I could be remembering wrong, but I believe the talisman they're referring to was the weird little staff she had earlier. That's not a talisman at all. No. But I believe, I could be wrong. <sighs> I'm like 99% sure that is the talisman. Wastrel means. So I could not tell you. Wastrel definition. Oh no! But my mom's been frozen! Ah! A wasteful good for nothing person. Oh, yeah, huh. that's fair. I feel like he's a wastrel youth. Oh, no! Oh, grandma's frozen too! No! No! That's right, he's starting to be the smart kid. No, he always was well, I mean, the but smart like, kid. He's starting to be smart in the sense of the story. Uh... Oh yes, thank you for explaining it. The eyebrows still moved when she's frozen? They're still going, too. Right up until they took the focus off of her. No, you can stop moving your eyebrows. You're, You're frozen. Be, you're supposed to be frozen. What? <laughs> stop, <coughs> stop moving your eyebrows. Please. I'm not moving my eyebrows. For our audio mm. listeners, I'm moving my eyebrows a lot. Uh, yeah, once again. By audio listeners, I mean everyone listening. Apparently to someday this is going to have to become a video podcast <laughs> if we watch certain movies. I didn't know that. Jeez. <laughs> yeah, Hal, you don't have training powers yet. Yeah, if anything, your little sister has more of a chance. Yeah. <gasps> this is the talisman. It was the the talisman. little staff is the talisman. More of a rod than a staff. Whatever, it's not hey, a it's talisman. It's definitely not a talisman. It's more of a staff than a talisman. Yeah. Okay? Sure, it's more of most things than it is a talisman. It's more of a broom than it is a talisman. <laughs> it's true. Now we're getting to the good part of the plot. Vampire fair. Instead of vanity fair, get yeah. it. That's so funny. It's the next one. Oh, we don't get No. Oh. She's a mummy. Why is everyone's heads... Oh, they're all wearing masks, right? Yeah. Yes. Oh. That's child labor. <laughs> That's there a thing you don't do. Ah, uh, yes. 
Did you say Loki? <laughs> that might have been the guy's name. I'd like to imagine that the god of mischief is. Oh, just... wait. Oh, here it is. This is the thing I need to talk about. That's a flamethrower. That's real fire. Um, she in an yeah, interview. It definitely looks like real yeah, fire. She in a real interview. Well, let me find the exact quote again. Uh, according to Kimberly J. Brown, the flaming hairdryer Marnie actually picks up is actually w real with real flames, and there was no special eff effects involved. <laughs> Austin Powers. And this is... Well, they're playing basket. That guy just has to face paint on. Yeah. Guy's got a dog mask. Some of these, they just, they stopped caring. Like, yeah. they, just like, okay, we had, like, we cared for, like, the first three characters we showed you. Like, that Frankie side at the beginning, we went all out on his costume. Yeah. But then we're like, oh, we have to have a whole city of these people? Oh, jeez. Two of you are going to get masks, uh, one of you is going to have face paint, um, you will paint your hands, because, I guess. You get gloves, though. Oh. You All get out. a full fish outfit. A whole costume. Oh, sorry, it's a snowman. Hey. It's definitely just a, a fish person. Snot man. No. <laughs> Snot man. <laughs> I mean, sure, the people who wrote the movie didn't know the person in the costume. Oh, look, there's a ghost. This is somehow one of the better effects in the movie. He's going into a sweat box. And they need, they need ghost sweats. This is perfect for them. Mm hmm. Mm. Solid point. Yeah, a valid point. <laughs> Well, you'd think it's a solid point. But, no. No, I don't think if I was in a sweat box and um, somebody walked up to me... I would warm be... and hotter, the two settings. <laughs> They're not. <laughs> they not? They're not. Oh. They're also invented by a Nazi. Oh. Just kidding. He wasn't a Nazi. He was, however, associated with the KKK. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. Fun facts about sea monkeys. Don't buy them. <laughs> oh, look, they're stereotypes. She's getting very angry. He's angry about it. Yeah. Perfect that was there. Oh, he's been to hell. <laughs> oh, he got so skinny. Oh. Why? Cause Chris, Chris no, no, Chris, no. Don't <laughs> ask questions. That's not how losing weight works. Oh, look, she's got a toothache and she's a pumpkin. Got a very large nose. It's probably some sort of stereotype. She sounds like a bird. It probably is. Oh. No. Very good. Oh yeah, that's rotten. To they actually, like, I'll give them a lot of credit, they actually made it rotten. Yeah. They just blacked out her tooth. Sure, but like the fake tooth, like they actually did a good job. Yeah. Which is surprising for this movie. Also, the way you just said that, they just blacked... Did you expect them to actually knock her tooth out? No. I expected them to use crappy CGI effects like they have been to make the ghosts transparent. Yeah. It's a lot harder with a tooth, though, Chris. <laughs> wow. 
eyebrow movement from the skeleton, because that is the only thing he can do, aside from talk. Mm. This is scary. Honestly, it is so far like the scariest part of the movie was that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She's honestly she is the best part of this movie. Yeah. <laughs> that dog was running not to the cab. No. It was running straight. Mm. Straight. Mm. <laughs> also, skeletons don't have any muscles, so. You could just pull away from it. Well, it's a magic skeleton. There might be some sort of magical strength to it. Mm, to be fair. I feel like that's not the reason to, to, to crap on this movie. He is a magic skeleton. Mm. Gabbity-gobbity-goo. Did you say gobbity ghoul? Gabagool? Gabagool? I can go for some Gabagool. <laughs> Roaster. Gabagool. Capicola. What? Look at this, this kid. Yeah. Best part of the movie. So cool. It wasn't really a song, it was really no. her saying it again. Yeah. I just want to. I also want to point out. I don't think it's ever acknowledged here, but I think the only reason the spell works is because she's using Sophie. Mm. I'm. That's my 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 opinion is at least for this movie. I think it does get dropped later because I think Marty eventually starts showing abilities as a witch. Mm. But I'm gonna say it's all Sophie at this point. Marty sucks. Yeah. It's because he didn't want it. Mm. Once again, could lead to some issues. Yep. Don't really love that. <gasps> it <Blah>. worked! <laughs> the talisman is lit up! It's still not a talisman. It's a talisman, Chris. Because talisman sounds like a cool word. Talisman is more magical. That's than a cool magic word. The wand lit up. <laughs> is it though? I feel like wands are also pretty magical. I mean, but talisman sounds cool. Talisman does sound cooler. Which that definitely is more of a wand than a talisman. Yeah. It's a scepter. That's what it is. Uh, yeah, scepter is pretty. I think scepter is the best word. Scepters are usually a little bit longer than yeah. that. Yeah. But it's not really a wand because of the ball at the end. Wands can have stuff at the end. It's also way too thick because it has to be able to be filled. It's like the it's like the Euro Club. Where it's like, that doesn't look like a real... You know, have you heard about the Euro Club? That was my phone. I forgot to turn it on silence. Way to go. Well, I have a Domino's app, though. So, you know, we can oh, hit Domino's for dinner. <laughs> um, what was I saying? You, you know about the Euro Club? No. It's like a... the like. It's like a golf club that has a space for you to pee into it if you're on, like, on the... Out in the green and need to go to the bathroom, but you don't want... You don't want the guys to know that you have to pee. So you... <laughs> Bring out this club that definitely isn't a club, and everyone can tell by looking at it. And you so pee you in it. Tell me, it was a club that contains euros. Like no, no, the, no. It's a urine. The Greek. It's a urine thing. Oh. It's for pee. It's a pee club. Oh, the pumpkin's on. That's fire. like a pee wand. Is my point because it has a space for you to pour stuff into it. The pumpkin's super on fire. <clears throat> Right here. Mm. 
Well, if they wish it and really want it, that's space. That's a spell, and it'll happen, right? Yeah. Doesn't matter if anyone else agrees, because consent isn't a thing. No. Nope. If you Not want therefore. it, it happens. <clears throat> Something in my throat. Oh, is it a frog? No, oh, the frog that she made earlier. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. The lighting just changed. I think it's the, the light out there when out. Uh, like, it got darker outside, so it's... <laughs> that was weird. That was weird. <laughs> a spooky... Oh. Oh! oh. Spo- I'm not going to do that, though, because it turns off the fire. <laughs> so scary. Uh, now Luke's not going to be a t- bad guy, I guess. Yeah, no, he's a good guy. Rah. We should say something funny here. Chris, we're not being funny because we're just enthralled by the art that is this movie. Ah, I understand. <laughs> enthralled would be a word. This movie's great. I don't know what you're talking about, Chris. I've loved every minute of it. It's been better. It's the best movie we've watched. All the other movies we've watched so far. Sort of. <laughs> it's the one that I have enjoyed watching the most so far. That's fair. Oh, now we're classism? Roll credits. <laughs> he said the name of the movie and the movie. I mean, they said it a lot, but. Uh, dang, diddly darn it. Wait. Hold on. What? Mm, celebrate evil. He's bad. What? Sorry, guys, for the spoiler. Yeah. <laughs> Solid point. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Well, like you're cute, so I guess I'll let you hmm. be evil and now good. Hmm. But he's the wiener guy. <laughs> or the <gasps> big cheese, as her. You could have just said, I said stop, and that probably would have been a little bit more impactful. To be honest. For a guy who was supposed to be nothing in this, he's actually not bad either. It's not terrible. Yeah. And he wasn't even supposed to be in the movie, really. Except for one scene. Mm. <gasps> oh. <laughs> Fool, That's yeah. a line. That yeah. sure was a line. No. No, don't crawl into my pumpkin. Oh, no, she's frozen. Oh, no. If only you could, like, drop it. Well, she is... Technically, I believe she is frozen, so maybe it would be hard for her to do that. (sighs) (laughs) Shut up. No, shut up. She's the best part of the movie. Those tennis shoes are a choice. It's 1998, bro. Uh This is a big moment. That should have been words playing in Sophie's head, because she is special. <laughs> I don't think that's actually supposed to be the moral of the story, Chris. Oh. That Sophie's the most powerful being? Yeah, no. <gasps> <laughs> and here's the you know she's not actually delivering a line better. She's just a cute little kid, so you're like, oh. She said the line. No, look when it. you're a 13 year old and you're get, delivering lines not perfectly, you're like, shut up. You're 13. Be better at acting. Oh, they're coming back to life. My eyebrows. I can, I can move them again. No. Freely. Free her. Freeze her again. Please. <laughs> Please, Grandma. Her eyebrows can't be free to commit such atrocities. Oh, let's call it 
I'm making that weird face again where I'm confused. Oh, I'm oh now I'm making a smile. Uh, oh, I, was... I saved the day. Oh, look at it. I did the thing. Yeah, no, it's all Sophie. <laughs> Sophie's the true magical being in the world. I did it! Is what Sophie should have said. <laughs> yeah. I, I just, I said, I just, I know how magic works, and I was like, oh, what I want, I make it happen, so I made you open your hand. I made all those things you remember hearing go through your head. I What'd you say? see the fan theory. What? What are you talking about? Where yeah. Sophie is the actual protagonist. Yeah. I gave you that message from all those other, from all the other witches. What, what do you mean you did? I just, I just wanted to do it. I wished it. Uh. <laughs> 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 In a bunch of black drapery. Magic queen. <laughs> yeah, th thanks, Marnie. That was a great line. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Good delivery on that one. Little finger wag. Oh, he's got the talisman. <laughs> I'm just gonna hit stop. That's the end of the movie, guys. Alright. <laughs> oh, two Cromwell witches. If only there were more than two that could stop him. <gasps> oh, he's a warlock. No, he's a warlock. She got she's crushing herself. You better. <laughs> My fingers are sparkling. <laughs> I'm a normal one. No, you're the nerd. What kind of insult was that? I think that's supposed to be a Calabar joke. Oh. Yeah, you should have said Calamari. That would have been funnier. Yeah. But Calamari wasn't Chocolate a thing in bar. 1998, Chris. Uh, I don't... No, people didn't know what Calamari was in 1998, Chris. <laughs> Everyone ate chocolate bars in 1998, Chris. Oh, he said no. <laughs> Let's be honest, this should be over already. Sophie's already doing it, that's all you need. Yeah. Yeah, but crazy. I'm the normal. You know what's crazy one. is I think John Favreau saw this because this is pretty much the ending of Elf as well. When they, you know, his dad wouldn't sing along. He's like, "Why aren't you singing?" That was that right there. Mm. Elf ripped off Halloween Town. I think Chef also ripped off. Well, I haven't seen Chef, but I think it did. I, I've heard Sophie's the star of that as well. <laughs> <laughs> She's the one who actually cooks all the food. Uh oh, it's getting really bright. No. <laughs> Zip, zap, zip, oh. The talisman! Why did they call it a talisman? Still not a talisman. I love you! Oh, yes! You oh, did hold it! On. Before. Well, we have, we have a little bit of the credits if you had something else we want to add. Talisman out. definition. Oh, it's definitely not that. An object typically an inscribed ring or stone that is thought of to have magic powers and to bring good luck. Oh, well. I guess it could be. And it's just an object. Typically. Yeah, I would have thought it was like a stone or a necklace. But I guess officially it doesn't have to be. I guess know. it could be a rod. <laughs> I guess after all that time of us insulting it, technically they're right. Only by technicality. Yeah. again.
We're adding romance to this for no reason at the end. Yep. She is 13. She's practically an adult. Mm -hmm. You did one good act, and I forgive you for all the atrocities you did. Oh. He was just a jerk. <laughs> Mostly. He helped, like, the bad guy, like, enslave a bunch of people and force them there. I mean... Because he wanted to not be ugly. It's valid. <laughs> yeah, it's valid. I, don't I mean, he things. is really ugly. <laughs> he gets sillier looking in the sequel. Less ugly, more silly. Yeah. Like, they forgot what the costume was, and were like, uh... He had a big nose and big ears, and that's about all they remembered. unrealistic what? there's no way with her how much her mom hated Halloween and horror she'd own all the Frankenstein movies no she only hates magic I don't know they they established that she was trying to stop her from liking any Halloween or anything like that it seemed like oh your plastic broom aww her mom stopped being a witch and became a witch. Oh, uh, now Luke is running the bus? Yeah, we needed someone new to do it. Because. Because she offered Luke a job, remember? Because. Mm. Oh, Luke's so her favorite actor. The guy helping He's pretty. Well, he's my bus. second favorite actor. Mm. The best actor slash actress, whatever, however you want to word it, is definitely Sophie. It, little. What's her name? <laughs> Followed closely by Glenn. Benny's up there too. By Benny. He does fall under the movie's eyebrows too much problem. Yeah. Emily. We're just gonna call her Emily because her last name seems weird to pronounce. <laughs> Little Emily. Sophie. Yeah. Little Emily. She did a great job. That's like a 3D model. You said it was a picture earlier. I think it was earlier. It was earlier for that sure. That was like a 3D model. They waited to the last scene to bring out the 3D model. <laughs> Alright, guys. Well, yeah, that's been um, Halloween well, Town, which still more. is one of my favorite movies. Yeah. A little bit easier to watch. Yeah. That, that time. Yeah, it was. I stand by this movie is fun. Is it good? No, no it's not. No. This is, you know, as we discussed on the podcast when we told you about this, you may have heard us mention Chris's opinions on Pacific Rim. This is my Pacific Rim. Sweet. I really enjoy this movie, and I understand it's not great. All right, maybe we'll watch Pacific Rim at some point. Yeah, maybe. It's a lot long. It's a long movie to sit through. I want to. We've sat through longer, boring movies. Yeah, I want to stop doing longer movies though. Hold on. Hour twenty minutes is a nice time. We can look up the time at a different time. Let's do the outro instead. Yes. Yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Yeah. Thank you for tuning in. We will see you next week for Halloween Town Two. Yeah.